Hey guys, my name is Curtis and I'm a junior at West Central High School and we have a VEX Robotics team called 9623 Warp Drive. And today I'm going to be showing you how to fix a VEX motor with a wiring issue. And first you're going to need your broken motor. Now you're going to go to Balulu.com and then you're going to go to the search bar and type in one nine zero one and that's your wire retaining clips for the prongs next you're gonna search up one nine three one and that's gonna be the prongs that you're gonna need to put on the end of the wires once you're done putting the motor back together and the very last thing you're going to search up is the actual wire which is 2649 and, it's, and you're going to pull up the white wire you can get the white wire if you want I'll be using it later in the video but you're going to go down to the bottom and click red and then you're going to hit go and add that one to your cart then you're going to go back down and hit black and add that one to your cart and then that is all the material you're going to need from this website The other material you're going to need are wire strippers, crimpers, heat shrink, a glove, soldering wire, the wire, and a soldering iron, and a screwdriver. Now what you're going to need to do is take the screwdriver and remove these 10 screws. Now that you have the actual motor inside the casing of the VEX motor out, you're going to need to heat up your soldering iron to 712 because the factory solder has a higher melting point than the solder we'll be using later on the video so you're going to keep touching the end of the solder on the, on the melted solder to where it melts so you can slip out the old wire Now that you have the old wire off, you're going to measure out some new wire to maybe like 12 inches, I would say, would be good enough for the motor. And you're going to strip the end of it just a tad so that you can solder it back in by placing it through the little holes on the circuit board and putting new solder on top of that. But be careful because you do not want to burn the circuit board because it will mess up the entire motor. When you put in the red wire, you're going to put it in the hole next to the yellow capacitor, and when you solder it down, make sure that the red wire and the prong on the yellow capacitor have soldered between them to where they are touching. Now you're going to run the wires that came off the actual motor inside of the VEX motor back through the housing that it, that it was originally in. Now 
Now for the last couple of steps, you're going to need to strip the end of the wires that are outside the motor, and then take your crimpers, the prongs, and crimp the prongs to the wire, and then you're going to put the black cap on them and hold them together, then you're going to take shrink wrap and put little bits along the wire to hold the wire together. Now you have officially repaired a VEX motor with a wiring issue.